Alright, hello everybody, and today we are going to be making ERLC custom uniforms 2025 on PC. So, the first thing you want to do is go to this link. The link is going to be in the description. So, you're going to want to download all of this. Now, you don't really need to download all of it. You just need to download this one, clothing FD, LEO accessories, this, others, general clothing if you're going to make civilian clothing, tactical if you're going to make like SWAT or military, pants for um, the general clothing, and vests if you're going to want, you know, vests. And then you're going to click download. Now I already have them all downloaded, so I don't need to download them again. And then you're going to go to paint.net. Link is going to be in the description. You want to click so you could either click download or you could just click on this one. Click download now dot PDN. And then you want to click that link right there, then it should download for you or take you to a GitHub link. So today we're gonna to be making a LAPD uh class C uniform. So first thing you wanna do is I hate this the blue background. So you wanna get the base color. Here's the base. So you wanna click F for your fill tool. And then this is the color code that I'm going to be using, 111217. So you're going to want to cl click there. And then you see how, like, let's see. There, you don't really want that. So you want to click this button right here and make sure it has a little X. And then it's a lot cleaner. So and then you want to do there. Next, you want to get the badge. So we're going to go this link, all assets three, has a whole bunch of assets. Let's go down to LAPD. Now how you're going to want to get assets is hold shift and then click S. And then notice how it gets the whole badge and not just the gold. That's because of the, the tolerance. So if I lower the tolerance, it only gets the gold. Or if I want to get the silver, it just gets the silver. But I want the whole badge. So I'm going to the tolerance of 55, 3. Copy that. Scroll up. Make a new layer. And then one thing that helps is this thing. Now there should be indication there but it's not working for some reason so we are just gonna put that about like right there I think right there is good yeah and then I'm gonna need the nameplate so we're gonna enter to deselect it go up a bit and you can use uh, control to zoom in or um, shift to go left and right I'm gonna get this thing no that's not it here it is Shift S, copy that, paste it, where is it, right there, and then let's see, I'm going to put it about like right there, okay, and then LOP doesn't use patches, but they do use pens though, so we're going to get some pens, this one have it, no it does not have it, open new layer, free assets, nope, nope, not in there, all your accessories, I think it's in the one. Yeah, right here. So then just shift S, copy that, lower it. Now sometimes it doesn't capture all of it because it's too different of a color. So you just control and click that. And that, tolerance a bit up a bit. That won't work. Then just do that and then copy that. Put that there. Oh, oopsie. Drag it up there. Indications out of here. Put about right there. Actually, no, I'm gonna put up one. Now I don't really like like this thing here, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. And then I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna do that. Put it down a little bit. And then there we go. And then we are basically pretty much done. Now if you want to add like a little thing there, let's see, where is it? This one doesn't have it, but what you want to do is open free assets, general clothing. Can't see a single thing. Where is it? Hmm. I'll just use this one. Get it kind of white-ish. I don't want it too white. Where is it? Oh, right there. 
Wait, no, that's not it. No, this one. There we go. Put about there. And then Control Shift F to flatten it. Copy that. I'm gonna put it under there. No, new layer. Put it under there. Put it under there. And then there you go. You basically got your uniform. Then what you want to do is Control Shift S. And then put it as a PNG, and you can name it. I see. Save, and then you want to flatten it. And then you're going to want to go to here. I'm going to click on create. Dashboard. Development items. Now you can either have it as an as a avatar item to have it in the, the, mar the marketplace. And to do that, you have to... Um, it takes it costs ten robux to upload a shirt and a, and pants, but if you just want it to have it in your ERLC server server, then you could just add, upload it as a decal, upload asset here, right here free assets, saved in here. There we go. And then you're gonna upload that, and then I will show you how to upload it in game once I get in game. Once you get in game, you're gonna click on the three things there. Edit server settings. Scroll all the way down to the roleplay pack, and then you're going to see custom uniforms with a little star there. I'm going to click on Edit. PD. And then you're going to click Add New. I'm going to paste it right there. Enter. And then there it is right there. Now, I didn't make pants because it's pretty much just the exact same thing as making a uniform, but you just need colors and that's pretty much all maybe even a belt if you need to and then your name play pd class, class c and you can click create i didn't put pants and that is basically how you make uniforms all right see you guys